The web app is nearly here for FC25 and today I'm going to show you how to get the best start for the new Ultimate Team and how to make coins. For cheap and fast, reliable FC25 coins, check out MMOEXP, the link is down below, and use the code MATHD for 5% off all of your orders. So what is the web app and when is it releasing? We're expecting the web app to drop at 6 p.m. UK time, September 18th, which is only two days away. The web app is an online platform that EA do provide for us where you can go in the menus of Ultimate Team on your phone, on a PC, on a laptop. You can trade, you can kind of do whatever you want within Ultimate Team other than playing a game itself. It's a really useful tool though that we all use at the very beginning and it's a great way to make coins fast at the start of FC25. So what do you need to do first? Well, firstly, guys, do log in with your details that are linked to your main account within FC25. I know it's really obvious, but yeah, make sure you do that first. Once you've logged in, this will be the screen you'll be greeted with. Most likely, it'll be a get started, welcome, back to you to ultimate team now this is during fifa 23 however i expect this to be very similar to fc 25 this is where the fun begins though this is where you choose your starter pack this will be your first team in the new ultimate team and although it's not the most important decision you'll ever make there is some important and significance that does go into this choice now which nation will i choose and should you choose well the first thing you need to know is there's always three or four nations here people tend to go with it's either england brazil or france they're the top three argentina and spain are always on that list as well so maybe five there you can choose from however for me there are two that i would recommend i always recommend to go with either brazil or argentina the reason why is because brazil i believe has some of the most players around the world in multiple leagues and in ultimate team you do need players to get chemistry for completing squad building challenges whereas england for example or even portugal and netherlands don't have as many players in multiple leagues so argentina and brazil are the two i always recommend i'd probably say then france would be third place but for me guys i normally go with brazil now in previous web apps guys i've actually chosen brazil for the last five years running and it's always given me a pretty strong start and after choosing brazil there there was my starter team back in fifa 23 once you do choose that starter nation let's say you choose england brazil argentina whichever nation your starter team will be filled with players mostly from brazil there's a few players there i can see they're from belgium the right mid for example but mostly the team is from brazil now next you do need to pick a lone player this is where you choose one of your players in your starter team here to swap for a lone player who is much higher rated and most likely a lot better than the players you do get. Now, you might have a question. Can you pack an icon or maybe a really good, you know, Mbappe card in this starter team? I've never seen it before happen, guys, of someone packing like Messi or Mbappe or Ronaldo in this starter squad. I don't think you can. But yeah, if you had that question, guys, hopefully I've answered it. Anyway, you do need to pick a player, though, to go in your team that is a lone player. A lone player in FC is a player that will be in your club for most likely seven games. It could be 14 games. However, in FC24, I believe the lone player was, I think, 99 games. Correct me if I'm wrong. Either way, you won't have this player forever. They will be mostly for the start of your journey in Ultimate Team. Now, this is where I always say, guys, go for a lone player. That is a striker. The reason being, if you haven't got many coins from the very first few minutes of this game, you need a striker to get you goals. Goals equals wins most of the time, unless you can't defend. However, early on, you do need a striker, guys. That will be better than your starting strikers. My starting striker there on the web app on my starter team was only 75 rating. Back then, I believe we could get Vinicius Jr. I could have got Haaland, potentially. Normally, though, these strikers consist of someone like Lissandro Martinez, Ben Yedda, Alexandra Pop was an option in the last game. I think Hallen was a choice and Putelas. They were like the five main players, maybe Gold Van Dyke. So I would always say go with the striker here. I've always stood by that rule. And to be honest, it's always served me really well. As you can see, Voland, Jimenez and Andre Silva there were the options. And as I said before, guys, I always go with striker. Now, let's say you've chosen your lone player, whether it be a center back, midfielder or forward. You're now ready to make your first coins. And I know you might be thinking, how are we going to make coins here from selecting a badge and a kit? Well, it's really easy. For this part of the FC25 web app, make sure you're choosing the rarest kits and badge. The reason is if you select a gold kit, let's say Liverpool are an option, Real Madrid or Barcelona, they're all gold rare. It will tell you as well on the new web app whether they are rare. You basically want to get the biggest club 
as your kit option. I know if Man United is the only option, you might need to choose it as Liverpool fan. I'm sorry, you might do. If you want coins, guys, yeah, you've got to make some harsh choices there. So let's say you choose the Liverpool kit there. On this option, we had Liverpool, we had Brazil. So I got very lucky there. Brazil, obviously one of the best footballing countries of all time. Liverpool, my team. They're both gold rare kits though. Now these kits that you choose are tradable, which means you can make coins. Now my biggest bit of advice here, guys, is that when you do choose these gold rare kits, yes, you can quick sell them for 485 coins each, which will give you near enough 1,000 coins. I don't know why that sounds emotional, but here we are. However, always check the price of these kits that you've chosen prior to quick selling. Some of these gold rare kits could be worth thousands of coins. In the past, Real Madrid kits have been three to 5,000 coins which will give you an amazing start to FC25. So before you quick sell, click compare price and check the price. There could be 900 coins there. If it's a pretty cool kit design as well, sometimes they can go up in value over the time of the year. So make sure you're comparing the price. Now in this web app, I actually went with Real Madrid there and also Brazil. Very, very rare kits. Now this is where though, I actually made a mistake back two years ago on the web app now you will get the choice of a badge always again go for the gold and the rarest items you have as an option let's say you've got chelsea and your rival fan honestly guys go for chelsea quick sell it or list on the market you won't regret it it's way more coins than if you went for for example portsmouth or gang one fc or firth there or any of those bronze or silver badges there are categories in fifa guys bronze most likely sell for the cheapest amount silvers and then there's gold tier so bronze silver gold obviously gold is the most valuable always go with the most valuable badge when you're choosing this option i say mistake because i actually went for cosmetic reasoning there i actually did go there with gang one fc and i just realized another mistake i made i actually did choose valverde i always go the striker i have no idea why i chose valverde i'm sorry i'm so sorry always go the striker choose the rarest kits or items as in badges and you're good to start the new ultimate team now this is where things get really interesting in fc24 i don't believe we got welcome back packs for the first time in maybe a decade these packs are a thank you for playing the previous ultimate team and it's it's a feel-good situation there with the a you know they are rewarding you for playing a previous ultimate team but in fc24 for whatever reason they didn't do this so it made the start even more difficult however i do expect them to bring it back there are even objectives in fc24 right now that will give you packs in the new fc so make sure you complete those objectives guys they are definitely in need of completing however if we do get these loyalty rewards back these were tradable in the past and i got to a few thousand coins here very easily by just opening these packs for free and selling them straight away on the transfer market that pack there was four rare gold players featuring an 80 plus rare pack so that's a really good pack there to begin with and i also got a few more there including a lone player pick now again for the loan choice guys make sure you pick an attacker if you've already got a striker from the loan option at the start maybe go like a van dyke option or a center back to shore up the defense you basically want to get a strong enough team to compete when you have the full game also we did get a coin boost back then which would be great at the start of the new ultimate team yeah i'm just saying and two gold packs so really i did get very lucky there getting those rewards now my loan option there wasn't actually even a strike we got human son and vinicius jr and alfonso davis in the end though we did go with vinicius jr with the real madrid shirt on i couldn't avoid that now let's say you've opened all your loyalty packs you are now ready to dive into the new fc25 web app and make some coins well this is how you do it guys i'll show you in game here however on the web app if you go to your consumable items have a look for the home kits in your club and look for the tradable items as you can see here though into milan jersey there does actually sell there for 600 coins now if you chose that kit as your away kit or home kit then make sure you quick sell to get those early coins and this is a tip in general actually for the whole year you will actually amass a lot of rare tradable kits and you might forget about them and when you go back and check your club you might have a lot of rare kits sitting in your club which will total thousands of coins over time as you can see though we can now quick sell both kits there that's given me a thousand coins to start the new game which is a really good way of getting a quick coin total in fc25 and as i said earlier guys make sure you're checking the prices of the kits and badges you are selling or quick selling if you get a rare kit that might go for 5,000 coins you never know or it could be discard value either way always check exact same for badges apply here make sure 
you're actually checking the price here just click compare price i mean for example real madrid there apparently is extinct so maybe you could sell it on the web app guys in the new fifa it could be five thousand coins you never know now let's say you have opened a few packs here from ea just like with badges and kids so make sure you're always checking the price of players before you sell them you don't want to be that guy who's listed a cheap gold rare for cheaper than he goes for let's say someone like zakaria in the new game is about 1200 coins at the start but you haven't even checked and you just list him for 700 coins well that's 500 coins you've lost there from not checking so always check the play prices before listing on the market now with those first few hundred coins or thousands of coins you just made from quick selling your items in your club there is something to be said for bidding on items that could double or triple in price when the full game launches now that could be a few things it could be a player it could be an item it could be whichever the market in fc ultimate team always goes up and down throughout the whole year depending on various factors however at the very start guys you've got to think the average player who enjoys fc25 i would say the most hardcore players are at the beginning during the 20th when the full early release releases however most players won't get the game until launch day or even after during christmas so do bear that in mind now there are always some items here that you might want to look at i would look at kits here i would actually focus on la liga for whichever reason barca kits can often be found for cheap on the market for 450 coins and they can be sold for more i mean look at that already that's a prime example a barca kit in this game is 4500 coins you can expect the same thing in fc25 so go on the market with those few hundred coins you just made from quick selling the badges and the kits and maybe look at bidding on a barca kit maybe do the same thing for buy munich maybe do the same thing as well for Real Madrid these early days of the new game guys can be crucial in how your team will look during the first weekend league we all want the best team possible and this is a great way of doing that some people will not realize the prices of these kits list them for cheap and guess what you might be able to get them and make thousands of coins you really can now another cool tip that you might not realize to make coins in fc25 is actually a very fun one i did this a lot last year and made hundreds of thousands of coins doing this this is actually the bronze search filter here for managers now the reason why this is the case it's mostly brazil and then french whenever it's a bronze brazil manager they are actually very expensive as you can see they are not normally for the nations this pricey but look at this the cheapest bronze manager right now is five thousand coins so if you pack a bronze brazil manager in a tradable bronze pack or maybe you want to bid on one of these items in the new fc this can be an amazing way to make fast coins guys that you might not realize basically there aren't many brazil managers in the whole game there's no gold managers whatsoever there's not even a silver manager so make sure you're looking at bidding on bronze brazil managers for cheap and sell them for maybe five thousand coins that could be a great way are making a lot of coins early doors the same can be said for france as well france don't have too many managers in the game guys but personally i would recommend brazil that is a really good way of making coins now another very ignored way of making coins and i really mean that this is a trading method that honestly gets ignored all the time it's got to be said and it's a really easy way of making some amazing coins it's actually the consumable that is goal sounds there are specific goal sounds that will sell for more than others and this is an item that gets quick sold all the time or listed for cheap and this is a way of getting thousands of coins in your account very easily and very quickly so what you want to do is guys search for a max of you know let's say a few thousand coins there but to show you an example of how much they actually go for it is this right here so go to authentic and then for me it's always bundesliga and then buy munich their goal sound always sells for a fortune for whichever reason is very sought after take a look at the buy munich goal sound that could be a way to make nice coins there it's on the market there for 150 coins you might go and get it for cheap and sell it for 4,000. it really can work in your favor in fact i'm going to bid right now and see what we can do but where next do you go how else can you make coins quickly at the start of the web app well this is a really good way of checking who is popular which players are popping off which players are going up in value and who are the most desired players at the start well on footbin.com which for me is the best fifa site in the world guys i think it's the best database around everything you need from ultimate team you can find on footbin now they actually do have a really cool feature called the popular players feature which is a really cool way of seeing which players are the most popular in the whole game right now and you can actually filter it to see which players are starter players you can see which players are maybe meta and even from the get-go you can see here Musa there from AC Milan 
is going to be a starter player so he is a very popular starter player at the beginning of this game if you have a look on his price on the web app on fc25 he'll most likely be about 1500 coins maybe to 3000 coins however a lot of people might not know this and guess what you can probably bid on his card for cheap there and sell for profit so this is a really cool way guys of seeing who is a popular choice right now on the web app and look for players here to invest in obviously gaiuka is going to be really sought after let's say you guys get multiple thousands of coins here gaiuka in my opinion is the kind of player that you could buy for a good price early on and sell when the full game launches a lot of players know how good this guy is in real life he's got 92 sprint speed 86 finishing an amazing card five star weak foot he is like the ultimate ultimate overpowered starter player so Look out for this feature, guys, and footbin's really handy. I really would advise using it throughout the whole year as well to see which players are the most popular in the world right now. And also gives you a very good idea of which players people might want to aim for on the web app early on. Now, by this point, you might be making some nice coins. And let's say you have some spare coins lying around. Let's say you've got like three to 4,000 coins spare. Well, if you want to maximize those coins and turn them into profit, there is a way that's lasted for years and years and we all still use it although we don't want to do it but it is a very good way of making coins in the long run this is the bronze pack method you might have heard of this before you might have never looked into it before however if you want to do a very long-winded way of making pretty much unlimited coins then the bronze pack method could be for you but what is the bronze pack method or the bpm the bpm is where you literally open a bronze pack you really hope for the best here and you're looking to sell every valuable player or item that you can and you pretty much always get your coins back and if not sometimes make a profit you're looking for like every five to ten packs here to make a profit on one of those packs and that will see you out with your coin total rising rising so it's a really good way of making coins guys it is unfortunately very long-winded it really really is a con stress enough there as always though compare the price now bronze players here are going for like 2,000 coins there so straight away i've made my coins back you should probably go for 1900 coins there now at the beginning of the new game obviously the prices won't be this inflated but you might be able to sell some of these low rated cards here for 400 coins if not you'll make your coins back either way and once you've sold multiple of these players you'll start to see your coins really rapidly rise in your account balance on ultimate team again though always compare the price now sometimes you gotta be careful though you actually might get for example a premier league bronze player sometimes the top league bronzes can go for more than the lower league so for example the premier league bronze players go for far more normally than league two bronze players who aren't really needed that much and don't forget as well by doing this method you should always at least make even over time once all your players sell and don't worry if they don't sell straight away simply relist them guys and continuously relist them until they sell now that's where we move on to something very important at the start of the web app and that has to be foundation sbcs these are the first sbcs that you will complete at the very beginning of a new ultimate team on the web app or on console however on the web app we can actually do this from the get-go now foundations one is normally what we get it does go up to foundations five there one to five and we also get something called hybrid leagues now if you've never been on fifa before guys oh, sorry fc basically we are doing sbcs sbcs are squad building challenges squad building challenges give you players or packs as rewards or sometimes consumable items sometimes those packs are tradable which gives you more coins and you basically submit players into a squad challenge and that challenge is where you submit those players into a challenge and they'll give you a reward as a prize and this is probably the most fun part of ultimate team i think we can all say we love sbcs throughout the year we'll get huge packs in there like 85 plus 10 packs icon player picks i mean it really is a huge part of the game however early on make sure you're completing these foundations now what kind of rewards are we likely to get in fc25 well we normally get these bronze and silver packs as the rewards However, the big part about this is actually the big reward for completing all four SBCs there within that foundation. And by doing that, you are actually giving yourself a very good chance here of getting these objectives completed. Now, these objectives are really important early on, guys. I can't stress enough. For example, if I complete the foundations group there from the web app, I will get a premium gold pack and also 
500 coins so by completing these foundation SPCs, it's actually going to give me rewards which could be coins it could be packs either way this gives you a really good boost at the very start so complete those foundation SPCs, guys as much as you can do try not to spend any of those early coins on players you should be able to go and get those players from those early starter packs and also those reward packs this is a really good way though of starting your new ultimate team journey now let's say you've opened those objective packs you've started to complete more and more of the foundation SBCs on the web app well guess what guys you actually do get some gold packs from completing these foundation SBCs. in my opinion at the very start though try and complete hybrid leagues hybrid nations league and nation hybrid these are massive packs here they will give you 35k packs 50,000 coin packs 100,000 coin packs these literally give you some of the best rewards at the start and guess what a lot of these are normally tradable however by completing these foundation SBCs, try and use as many of those gold players in these hybrid SBCs, as they do cost quite a bit at the very beginning normally for example hybrid leagues could be like 35k hybrid nations could be 50k this one could be like 40k They're around that price range normally but by saving those gold cards or even silver cards from these foundation SBCs, you can save coins on these big league and nation hybrid SBCs in a really good way now you've started doing the bronze pack method you've started making some more coins you've started to complete objectives foundation SBCs. what would i advise next i would actually continuously keep doing those methods i've told you guys even the brazil filter there using those trading methods i said earlier but at this point i would actually start looking at what players are most likely going to be meta at the very beginning a meta player in ultimate team is a player that's overpowered and has very strong stats according to the current meta of the gameplay now in the new fc25 guys player roles are going to be vital in proving what players will be meta they're completely brand new and they really affect the gameplay of the new ultimate team so be on the lookout for those meta players at the very start of the web app that have good player roles have good starter stats maybe they've got great links by doing that when the first weekend league does arrive which is a competitive game over fifa which gives you insane reward to playing the game and doing well in people obviously want the best meta players available in their squad thus improving the price of those players now in the first week of the web app and let's say you're on the web app right now guys on the 18th they've just launched you pack a potential meta player try and save those players if you can for that very first weekend league the few days running up to the first weekend league guys make sure you then sell and make some big profits now obviously if you do want to sell any good players you've got in a pack go for it guys you know the world is your world go for it go and sell those players make those coins however if you do want to invest and let's say you've got 10,000 coins spare maybe more from trading on the web app then maybe look to invest in those meta players early on who will rise in price going up to the launch day on the 27th so i hope that's really helped you out there with all of these tips and tricks to start the new fc25 web app which should launch guys in two days time on the 18th of september make sure to subscribe for more any questions about the web app guys regarding the new ultimate team comment down below i'll do my best to answer your guys questions hopefully i've helped you out prepare for the new ultimate team web app guys we're all so excited for this to drop i can't wait i want to see if we get loyalty rewards i want to make some coins myself we all do have a very special day and i'll see you on the next fc25 video